what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living ash how are you guys doing the makeup is on and it is giving it is friday which is my favorite day of the week i just love fridays i'm just super lively and happy on fridays and i'm just excited so i decided to sit down and do a video with you i've gotten so many questions about my makeup throughout the years here on youtube and like i'm always learning new things and i've kind of found my staple items that i use all the time to kind of achieve this really pretty done up natural makeup look so i wanted to share that with you guys and kind of just chat it was really fun so i'm gonna be chatting with you guys sharing with you guys some things some thoughts some whatever's been on my mind and stuff like that so thanks for clicking the video if you're new make sure you subscribe to the channel comment down below leave your mark here let me know what's up and i would love to welcome you to the channel and if you've been an avid watcher of my channel you're always here thank you so much i love you so much and i hope that you guys enjoy this video so let's get into the makeup look and everything in between what's up you guys happy friday i decided to sit down and just do a little get ready with me friday is my favorite day of the week and i need to do my makeup i wanted to kind of show you guys the products that i've been using so bear with me because i normally don't even do stuff like this i don't know it's hard for me to like not dedicate and like look at the camera like right now i'm like looking for my product but i thought i'd just sit down with you guys and just kind of chat and do my makeup and get ready for the day i'm looking for my my primer which I need to show you because I always always put on primer before I start my makeup all right after some digging and some searching I've been using the milk hydro grip primer for a little over a year now and it's the best I recommend when you're doing your makeup right you need to make sure that your skin is super moisturized and hydrated because you want to make sure that the makeup applies smoothly i feel like skincare is so important for makeup because i feel like it just looks so nice smooth and like porcelain doll like when you don't have all these little bumps like people tell me all the time like girl your skin's so pretty and all that stuff and i'm like what like i don't know you see like things about yourself like differently like i see myself different than other people see me and like i don't know you gotta be like kinder to yourself because if someone else looks at you and they're like oh my god you look so good and then i look at myself and i'm like oh you need to figure out how to get rid of these tiny bumps like i have these tiny bumps on my forehead and stuff that honestly aggravate me so for my face right i'm gonna do some face makeup friday is one of the days of the week for me that i just feel the most lively i don't know what it is about friday that makes me feel like that like i don't know maybe it's because it's like the weekend and we've always like associated friday with kind of like freedom because you're working what five days out the week and then you finally have two days off to relax which i still think is crazy but something about friday just makes me want to go out and just be outside and just chill if you see this tape i'm trying like this boob tape today um i got it from like tj maxx and you know i'm just trying to see if it holds me up this is like an aritzia uh jumpsuit kind of thing and then i oh i need to take this off my edge control i have like a fuzzy thing here so now for the face i'm going in with my fenty foundation this was actually sent to me in pr and i've been loving it this is the pro filter soft matte foundation and i mix it i started mixing foundations when i knew that like i needed to get my perfect shade and it's okay to mix colors like you can do that so i use my fenty beauty and this is in the color i think it's two it's 420 <laughs> and then this one is the makeup forever Ever, HD skin and this is 4n62 so I use my ill maquillage brushes and I don't use a lot like I think the key to a nice flawless makeup look is not using too much foundation like you don't need that much I just want enough to make my skin look like you know just really evened out and soft and that's really all I do for that I don't do too much like I'd rather go in with a smaller amount than to start with a lot and then I feel like I'm super caked up and then I'm like oh shoot I just did absolutely too much and obviously I'm looking up because I'm looking at the mirror but how have you guys been I feel like YouTube has like changed so much for me because you know in the past year I moved and you know I actually haven't been shopping as much lately i've just kind of been like home <laughs> i've been shopping i've been more into like fashion 
lately like i've been like oh my gosh like i want like certain clothing and i don't know and i love perfume like oh my gosh i got these new body oils you guys that i'm gonna show you guys after i'm done doing my makeup but they've been so popular on social media so i was like you know what i have to get it i got them and i'm wearing it now and it is so beautiful like when i show you you're gonna need to get it like i feel it's a bit pricey but i mean it smells really good so see like already just having the foundation on i already look really soft and nice so i feel like it's kind of therapeutic to like sit down and talk to you guys because i kind of find myself talking to people when i'm doing my makeup like i'll call my friends or i'll call my mom like i'll call people like my family but like talking to you guys is kind of different and i kind of want to make more videos like this so right now like you can kind of see some of my like i have like a a spot here but overall it's super evened out and cool right now then i go in with my concealer so i'm gonna do butterscotch first this is kind of like my extra obviously like a concealer so i'm really trying to like cover up everything that maybe i missed but it still kind of gives me a little bit of a highlight but i go in with another color which i'm going to show you um that is really good in a second because that really gives me the overall highlight and i don't use too much of that the key i'm telling you guys right now do not use too much and it just becomes so much harder to blend so i used to use a damp beauty blender but i kind of like it when it's a little dry i'm not gonna lie like i don't know the damp beauty blender thing kind of works for me but then sometimes it doesn't so it really just depends on the day like i feel like i just blend so much better when my beauty blender is dry and i mean i don't know my beauty blenders are kind of like older like i don't know if you guys can see like i get creasing under my eyes and when i'm sweating I usually start sweating right here in this like t-zone area like that's really where the makeup starts to like mess up so i really have to focus on these areas to ensure that my makeup stays on all day but with this florida heat i'm telling you like it just i don't know it's like me zero florida heat 100 like every time i have this on my head because i did my edges which has been something that i've been struggling with lately you guys like i've been struggling to find like an edge control that really works and i finally found one that's pretty good i mean it's doing me well right now i talked about it in my last video if you haven't seen that it's like my barbie video i talked about like all things pink and things that i've been loving but man you guys it's been really hard as far as like finding an edge control that can withstand the heat it kind of gives me the the vibe of that song tell me baby can you stand the rain i'm like my edges cannot stand the heat and it's hard because i want my hair to look you know decent i want it to look nice and neat especially when like i said like my braids are not freshly done so the one that i've been using right now is this uh gummy professional wax mat and i've used quite a bit of it they had only one left on the shelf the price is 8.99 i think that's a good price I don't think it's too much um it is a maximum hold extreme hold i haven't seen any issues as far as it like pulling out my baby hairs or you know just leaving residue in my hair like i kind of wash my edges every night when i get in the shower so if you've been struggling with your edges just staying in place i would recommend you get this you can get it at a beauty supply store but i will call beforehand because they may or may not have it but for sure you can get it on amazon uh for you guys i would just link it down below so you can click it if you are looking for a good edge control and i also use it along with this bella teak this is a edge braid and lock professional uh max hold thing uh this is an edge control too so these two i'm trying out um and this one was 3.99 so it's way cheaper but again it's like a much smaller so now that that's on like you can't really see too much of a highlight i'm gonna go in with cookie cookie is really really light okay and there's another one called nude but i think nude is like too light for me so i just go in with cookie and kind of accentuate where i just concealed and i don't want to put too much because this one honestly cookie to me dry down a lot quicker than my butterscotch one and it just it can look ashy so you don't want to do that but this is to highlight my face where it matters you know where i want to look real snatched um but yeah i've had cookie for a while and i'm gonna put some here i usually never really do my forehead anymore but because it's friday and i feel like you know going all out i'm gonna do it mm. do some here mm okay there we go what do you guys do on fridays like i've been struggling because for the past i would say month now 
and i usually let this dry down but i don't know what i'm doing i think i'm just distracted but yeah for the past month i've been eating wild like i'm not even gonna lie to you like wild like i've had fast food galore make mcdonald's and i'm not gonna front i like mcdonald's like i used to argue with my mom and be like mom buy mcdonald's she's like we have food at home and i'm like no i want mcdonald's and she's like what the heck that's how bad it was when i was in, in like elementary school i just wanted a mcchicken and some fries okay but um yeah i've been eating really really bad i mean just fast food and just sushi is my weakness and you would say oh sushi's healthy no because it's so high in carbs it's literally rice um they do have vegan options for sushi and options that obviously don't contain rice but like to me like what's the fun in that like i don't like that <laughs> i i want my sushi i want my jb tempura roll with some cream cheese some salmon and you know like i just want it to be a certain way i gain weight really easily you guys like no lie i will gain weight so fast and like i almost at a point like envy people who like have this super fiery fast metabolism where they literally lose weight and can eat everything i can't do that like i i have to stick to my diet which is very low carb and it's not keto i always tell people i don't follow a keto diet i just consume food that say keto on it because it really helps me stay committed to my diet you know that's really what i've been doing really trying to get back like i feel like every time i say i'm seriously trying to like lose weight and stuff like i end up falling off and like to me that's not that's not good like i'm tired like i lost 30 pounds in 2021 and pretty much almost gained it all back you guys just eating crazy but i actually started a new challenge and i'm going to share that with you right now let me just bake my face <sighs> i look ghostly right now but honestly i don't even want to use this powder i wanted to get a new powder this is the laura mercier this is like their limited edition translucent honey powder uh, i wanted to get a new powder because sometimes i feel like and i love laura mercier i just feel like maybe this doesn't keep my makeup as set like as long as i need it to be so i kind of use this i'll link these little sponge things i got them on amazon i love them because they perfectly go underneath your eye like literally right there like boom right underneath your eye and they just i don't know for me when i'm setting it's so much better than using uh, my beauty blender because i feel like the beauty blender just doesn't have the curvature that i need so kind of just setting in those places so usually i would do my contour too but i'm all out of whack today so i'm just gonna use this i'm actually using this for the first time this is the makeup forever professional paris palette so i'm just gonna use this to contour so i'm just gonna take this brush this is like a real technique brush so i'm just gonna put this in there like that and kind of just put that right here underneath where i highlighted and the color is pretty nice too i used the lighter one like this lighter shade right here but maybe i'll try this darker one and see how i like that all right like off camera i took i ended up taking off my little scarf i can't with this tape but yeah i ended up taking off my scarf because i don't know i just like the look better so i went ahead and kind of blended everything in a little bit and i'm really liking this palette from makeup forever this is a really nice palette and it also has like nice blush shades too like it really has everything you have highlight you have blush you have contour uh seriously this is like the best it's an hd skin all-in-one face palette really really nice so for my nose i don't want to do anything too dark so i'm just going in with this like middle shade here and just kind of going down like the sides of my nose and just bringing it in i have this morphe contour stick that i loved and for some reason i can't find it it's always when you're looking for something you don't find it and when you stop looking you will find so I'm just not even gonna get mad about that so whatever one thing about me i do not like to rush my makeup because when i rush i feel like something will go wrong and then it ends up not looking how i want it to so kind of zoomed in for you guys so you can see what i'm working with and the challenge that i wanted to tell you guys about and i'm encouraging you guys right now if you're in a place where you're struggling and one thing about me i've struggled with discipline in my life and not that i was like a child that didn't listen or something like that but like i just am not strict with myself like i think i'm more strict on other people than i am with myself so with this challenge it's called 75 hard and i forgot i was so zoomed in but it's called 75 hard and it is a 75 day challenge where 
you literally are consistent with the rules the rules are you work out twice a day for 45 minutes and i've been doing that where in the morning i'll go out for my walk and then uh i'll just get my 10k steps in a day and then at night i'll go ahead and do like a you know weightlifting kind of workout so that i can get stronger strength training is really important for me the goal is obviously overall like weight loss right but it's absolutely necessary for me to prioritize getting stronger and kind of not focusing too much on the number on the scale but focusing on losing body fat and overall feeling better about myself so this challenge is really nice because it doesn't only focus on the physical aspect which is working out but mentally as well which is reading 10 pages in a book a day and if you're already like an avid reader this isn't even going to be hard for you like 10 pages in a book a day i'm sure you read more than that but for me i love reading i just don't find the time to read every single day so if you can do that i'm gonna put the challenge here on the screen a gallon of water i personally haven't been doing the exact gallon because sometimes i feel like it's too much for me but i've been trying to get at least eight glasses of water in a day i have a really cute cup that i've been using that's really keeping me uh in the spirit of wanting to drink my water more so i want you guys to be encouraged to maybe start this challenge with me and if you have to tweak it to fit your lifestyle that'll be great but for 75 days i'm on this and maybe me telling you guys will keep me accountable too because i mean you guys i will fall off like i'm the type of person who will literally fall off the face of the earth you're like what the heck happened and i'm just like i don't know somebody invited me to like a party or something but i'm like you know what no and there's no alcohol in this challenge like for me i don't really like hard alcohol like i'm not a you know hard liquor person like here and there like if i go out i'll be like oh give me a shot of tequila or like give me like a mixed drink like i love a good lychee martini but for this challenge there is no alcohol for 75 days and that's also been a struggle for me because i like to go out and have a drink i like to you know make cocktails but it is mocktail season for me now so i'm excited and i encourage you to start this challenge too and if you do please let me know dm me we can keep each other accountable via ig or here in the youtube comments because your girl has to lose this weight i need to feel better i feel out of breath i don't feel like I can run like I want to be able to like run and do like distance thing and then to my friends like they're always like oh no you look so good but like I know my potential like for my 22nd birthday I was in Italy I was like way lighter than this you guys like I look at my picture and I'm just like oh my gosh but I'm also trying not to be too hard on myself because you know I might look great like I might look at my pictures in you know a couple months and be like girl you looked good like why were you so hard on yourself but because you just have this image of like who you want to be you're like <sighs> you know you're just constantly trying to get to that next level for my eyebrows here i'm doing kind of like the fluffy brow look and right now they kind of look funny so this is going to keep my brows looking a little bit more natural because i feel like when i fill them in they can look unnatural right so when i do this and this is one of the ogs that i'm using this is an anastasia brow freeze i love this like it is so good you guys and i just kind of brush them up because i want the brows to still look hair like right and this is gonna be perfect because this will give it time to dry i know a lot of the makeup girlies they actually do their brows first and i like to do my brows like in the middle of my makeup i don't know why i'm like that but it's just something I've always done and I've been doing my eyebrows for years. Alright, so I let the brows dry down because it's not really easy to fill them in when they're kind of wet from the brow freeze. So my OG staple eyebrow pencil is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is in the shade black. Like, I literally use the black one. Now, I know a lot of people don't like black pencils, but that's the one that looks best on me. Um, and I don't use a heavy hand at all. Like, I'm very light with this. And especially since my brows are already, like frozen right now i don't need to do too much like you want to make very like hair like strokes and i feel like that's kind of the trend now is to make your brows look more realistic i like it when it looks really nice and natural and you know obviously they're filled in like my eyebrows are not microbladed and stuff but like if they don't look too like they don't have to look so perfect but somehow my eyebrows still end up looking really perfect and i say perfect as in like they're like crisp yeah i love brows i feel like with my makeup brows are just the most fun part and i know a lot of people can't talk and do their brows but i i don't know i guess i've just been doing it for so long and i don't know i just do it 
I don't really care to like only honestly I think when I'm concealing like can you look at this not filled in filled in all right, so let's do the other side for some reason. Oh my gosh, you guys, when my brows aren't done, I'm not happy because they're not as crisp as when they're done. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, my eyebrow lady, I've been going to her for like well over six years, like a long time. And tell me how she doesn't even know my name, like to this day, like she's never been personable. We don't talk, like, pfft. She just does my brows and honestly, I just like the way she does it. I'm still in the market for a new eyebrow lady. It's just this lady's just been good um, and she's done what I needed to do. But I don't like the way I feel when I go there because it's the craziest thing. I'll go there to get my brows done and she'll look at my hands, she'll look at my feet and my nails will be like freshly done. And this is in a nail salon by the way if I didn't say that. She'll look at my nails or my feet and be like, do you want your nails done too? And I'm like... It's really awkward at that point because yes, I don't go to their nail salon honestly because I've been to their nail salon before and it wasn't good. But and like they were like really rough with my nails and like my nails were hurting after so I was like nah like I'm only gonna come here for brows but she's like really like it, it's awkward so I just go there in the meantime every other like what two weeks or so but it's not the best experience so to conceal my brows i just do like this with the butterscotch which is what i use as my first concealer on my face um i've changed concealers so much throughout the years but i've been loving the Too faced these are the Too faced concealers that you know it's just amazing so this brush i've had it's an elf brush eyebrow brush i've had it for like since i was in middle school it's that old but i can't get rid of it because i've never found an eyebrow brush that i love like this like when you find something good hold on to it because it works perfectly for me it's just everything like it just does what i needed to do so i guess this is the part where i, I probably shouldn't talk because it's kind of hard to be precise <laughs> okay you guys check out the brows they're there they're browing <laughs> brows make a break a makeup look i'll tell you that right now so if you can practice anything when it comes to your makeup try to perfect the brow technique seriously just so that they have extra protection this is the milk makeup kush clear brow gel i don't have that much left so i'm just gonna like go back over them make sure that the hairs are really like laid down but also kind of still looking hair like all right so brows are done and now it's time for eyeshadow the go-to eyeshadow is the juvia's place bronzer palette which has hit pan it's literally done but i've used it for one to bronze and two for my eyeshadow like you can use makeup for so many different things that's what i love about it it's so versatile can we talk about how everybody on instagram i feel like instagram has become like a place to like post achievements and stuff and that's kind of where i'm like going with it too or like to post like things that are happening and like you know just like celebratory things which i kind of like but it can also be hard because sometimes you may not have something that you're like celebrating in your life and then you're online and you're seeing like hundreds of posts and of people who are just like you know they're graduating they're having a baby they're getting married they're engaged or they're moving they bought a house like you know you may just be like you know chilling right now in your space and that's okay too but i kind of just viewing it as that like it is really like a highlight reel but i'm not mad at it like i feel like i've been writing congratulations to so many people on instagram lately it's crazy like and i never used to be like a commenter right like i never really commented under people's posts i was kind of like just like a liker um like a silent you know watcher but i'd support with like my viewer my like but i realized the value in like leaving a nice comment especially nowadays with like people being negative online and things like that it's nice to like you know just say kind words and like i just say what i'm feeling like hey congrats like you know i'm really happy for you and i will say like i struggled like genuinely being happy for like other people and their successes especially when i was in a place where i felt like nothing was happening for me and it just is it's not a good way to be and i just feel and i think it reigns true that when you just spread good energy and positivity to others when you're genuinely happy for other people uh you, you just are rooting for other people to do well like there's enough room for everybody there's enough abundance and money and things out there experiences for all of us and you know 
one person's you know achievement isn't going to stop you from becoming the person that you're going to be so i would encourage you guys to like be positive and kind and say a good word even if you're not in the best space i think it's just kind of like putting it out there because i do i do believe that what you put out you get back tenfold and i've been really practicing that just kind of like being happy for other people genuinely and i don't know we'll see where it goes i think it's something that we all should practice a little bit more with my eyeshadow i just like it because it's a really natural look i'm kind of gonna go in and like blend my nose contour and don't mind my hair right here i'm gonna take some water when i'm done and kind of like you know fix that now i'm gonna go in with a little bit of Mm, it's Friday so I might go and do a little bit extra so I have my NARS palette which I got like a while ago and I'm probably gonna go in with like I don't like dark colors around my lids I feel like it makes me look crazy I don't look good with that so I'm probably just gonna do this color right here it's pretty and I don't know it's bright it's festive where am I going on this Friday evening I don't know but I am not like a huge eyelid makeup girl. Like I do the most basic stuff just so that I can look put together. Like that's what I'm, I'm not going to teach you how to do eyelids and stuff because I don't do anything special. I literally just put it on my eyelid and go. The girlies that know how to do the cut crease and all that. Shout out to you because I can't do it. <laughs> I genuinely can't do it. Um, But I just do what I can and make it look like I know some. But I have gone into Sephora, which is so crazy. I don't think I've ever told you guys this. I walked into Sephora once and I was offered a job on the spot <laughs> just for having my makeup done. And I thought that was the coolest thing because I was just like, you know, I wasn't in need of a job, you know, but I was like really grateful that someone even saw me as like a potential employee off rip, like just seeing me for the first time. So that was cool. Blessings just, just happened. Like, yeah. I thought that was really funny like I literally walked in and the manager saw me and she was like you, your makeup looks amazing are you looking for a job like we want you here that fast and I was like oh my goodness like thank you so much but I'm, I'm not looking for a job right now but I, I do appreciate the offer honestly I probably should have worked there and got some discounted perfume and stuff but I don't know I, I want to take like a darker brown and put it on the outside and see if that adds some like definition but I feel like I could totally mess up my makeup with this clearly i love juvia's place so these are dark dark so i'm gonna probably go with like something like this just on the outer lid just to give it some pop of color just something different you know because it's i keep going because it's friday so but i don't want to go too crazy you probably won't even be able to tell much of a difference because i'm gonna blend it in so well but you will see it like at the top you can see you can already see it i can see it in the camera i'm like whoa See, like, I don't want too much, uh-uh. And I'm just gonna blend it right here just so that it doesn't look crazy. And this palette is the Chocolate by Juvia's Place. So let's talk about this tool right here. I saw this on Instagram, like, on a random post. And the girl that was doing it was, you know, she sold me immediately. So I went on Amazon and I purchased these. If you get mascara on your eyelids, this is supposedly supposed to help you with that now with me i'm not used to it yet i think this is a product that gets you know takes some getting used to but i'm i'm telling you i think it's really creative and it's handy this mascara is the fenty beauty this one is so good i got this one the other day it's called hella thick okay so let me show you how it works you just place it like this because i was using it wrong like the whole time like i was using the other side to do it but you just place it like this Try not to talk and do all that while you're using it, but you just start applying your mascara just like this. And it really helps to like get everything. And like avoid getting it on your eyelid. I need to rest my arm on something. You just go like that. I will link this down below for you guys if you struggle with applying your mascara. Because I think this is really handy. So, 
I want to tell you guys, shout out to Fenty, okay? Riri did her thing with this mascara. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is beautiful. It's hella thick, like it says. And I have to say, this is my favorite mascara right now. If you are in the market for a new mascara, I would totally go for the hella thick from Fenty Beauty. It is that good. And I do not wear false lashes. I tried it for a period of time, but it just wasn't my thing. So I would say, this is very nice if you take care of your lashes like just use this and you'll feel satisfied so we're almost done with my makeup i'm just going in with my eyeliner on the bottom lash line i just do this because it just gives my eyes that pop you'll see the difference in this eye versus the other eye you can see this eye looks much more bright right now versus this left eye here which kind of just looks like whatever now you guys the makeup's almost done okay so we're gonna finish it up right now and the next thing i do is the bottom lashes i actually like having my bottom lashes oh my gosh this is the worst thing that can happen when you're doing your makeup for mascara to go in your eye and I wear contacts, so it's so uncomfortable. All right, so we're gonna do it on the bottom lash. I actually don't like doing this as much, but it's like a mandatory step for me. All right, so lashes are done, and now I'm going to bronze. When I discovered bronzer, everything changed. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Terracotta. It's a cream bronzer. Now I take my little bronzer brush, dab it in there like that, and I just go right above my cheek all the way up to my hairline this really brings the color and the life back into the face I'm telling you that's what's gonna give it that non ghostly effect especially after using highlight you can tell I have highlighted portions of my face and it kind of makes it look a little bit more professionally done and then I go ahead and use my powder bronzer I don't know what it is my face gets itchy when I do makeup it's like the weirdest thing so i use my powder and this kind of helps it sit in place this is the juviest place palette again and then i put that a little bit here like just a little bit on my tip of my nose and the makeup is giving i love it it looks so 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 good and i hate to do my makeup because i have to do another workout today because you know we're sticking to the challenge i might have to go to the gym with makeup on because i'm still gonna get the workout in i just gotta make sure that you know I do what I gotta do. All right, so off camera, I just took time to like blend everything in. Last step is the blush. So I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty blush. I don't love this one as much as I thought because if you don't, you know what, speaking of that, I need to get the brush for this so that I can blend it in quickly. Cause if you do not blend this in quickly, it will leave like a little dot on your face. So I'm just gonna put some right here and just hurry up and blend it in because it will literally it'll just yeah it takes off my makeup i think because it's too liquidy i don't like that about it 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 does yeah it leaves a mark on my face i don't know how i feel about it i guess because i have powder on yeah it's a no for me no 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 mm -mm. i think i'm gonna be like done with this one like it just messes up my makeup you guys you can see it it leaves like this like mark i don't like that no because my makeup was really smooth and kind of to like go over it i'm using the juvia's place palette i kind of just blend these two colors i love a pink face like i want to look pinky i want to look like somebody just texted me something real cute and told me something real sweet and i'm over here blushing <laughs> so that's what i like by the fire at night silk sheets and diamonds oh wait all right blush is on everything that i talked about i will try my best to link it down below so you guys know how to achieve this look or just want to add some things to your routine now i'm going to spray my face with my amazing pink one size beauty mattifying setting spray we want to keep the face on all day oh yes you guys i just bought a new fan let me show you i should use it right now all right well i just spent the last like 20 minutes looking for the fan and i can't find it but i will link it for you guys so you can check it out it's so cool it has a mister you can bring it out in the heat with you you can use it when you're drying down your makeup but it's in other news i have some cute glasses from amazon that i wanted to show you guys i bought these because i was just looking for something to kind of like you know have when maybe i don't want to do like makeup or even if i do my makeup and i just want to like have something different i got these really pretty glasses on amazon 
I think they were like $20 for like four pairs. And this one is so pretty. Uh, this is not sponsored, just saying. <laughs> but I got them. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta tell my supporters about them. This is the all black pair. And sometimes with these glasses that aren't prescription, they can be a little bit blurry and not as clear. But this is so clear. I can see literally crystal clear, you guys. They're so cute. I also got, it, I just love the variety too. Like I can just change out the colors. And there's something about just like having these. They're blue light too. So this is perfect for when you're on your phone. And like I do a lot of heavy editing and stuff so this is super cute and it's like it's kind of like a brownish clear and then the last one i got is it's this one right here which is kind of like a cheetah kind of like leopard print one but and it has like a little bit of a light blue check that out you guys it's so cute now it's time to do liner there was this lady on tiktok that actually talked about how brown liner is not elegant and it blew up and it was offensive to a lot of people because she used only black women to show that it wasn't elegant and that you know funny thing because white women do it too i think it's beautiful i love a good brown liner and it's elegant like i don't know there you have to understand too that not every shade that's available looks good on my complexion right so when we use things like a brown liner it brings everything together and it makes it look good on our skin and for her to say that was really hurtful but i really love that everyone in the community on tiktok and everything influencers uh just kind of like spoke out like i hate when like people get in trouble online for things like i feel like it's like such a hard I don't know it's like a hard thing to go through it's not easy because I don't condone like bullying and stuff like that but you know I do feel that it's pretty and I did my own little TikTok to it um just kind of showing you know what I think because I always love brown liner and when I discovered it I was so happy because I could finally do something with my lips I should stop talking <laughs> that look pretty and, and now I can wear any lipstick and they all look good and it's just a nice it's a cultural thing too like i don't know keep wearing your brown liner ladies i don't know what that lady's talking about hey, look at that and i didn't even add a lippy yet so this right here is my favorite lippy right now and this is from gucci i got this in a sephora like travel kit and it was really nice this is in the color it's so small it's called lip maestro um and it's 524 in case you want to know and it stays on my lips for so long it adds a nice color it's matte and it doesn't dry my lips out too much like i feel like some matte lippies they definitely can like dry you out but this one is really good sometimes i'll go over my liner with the darker one and this is cappuccino do y'all see that oh highlighter Fenty is taking over my collection so this one oh i've never used this one either it's new taking the plastic right off rip me out the plastic i've been acting brand new the names hustler baby which is this like shimmery shade here on my cheekbones this i just took like any brush and ooh, ooh, yes oh my gosh i forget i don't have to do too much with fenty Cause she's gonna serve every single time oh my gosh you don't need to put too much y'all because fenty is going to serve every single time with the highlights okay you see that highlight oh my gosh this is so pretty i love doing my makeup makeup is so pretty the makeup is giving today you guys and i still don't know where i'm going y'all i don't i probably won't even go anywhere <laughs> but this still makes me feel really happy and i'm gonna take a selfie because i haven't been taking full body pictures because i'm like oh my god i gained weight and everything but i'm coming i'm coming for the girls okay with the cute full body pics but you guys this is this is the full face like this is it let's do like a little music shot with the makeup okay oh, 
that's it for the makeup look i'm going to put on my jewelry and finish kind of getting ready and then i'm going to quickly show you guys my scent of the day that'll be it for today's video i want to share with you guys these two body oils that i've been loving really quickly i'm going to make another video going into detail about them but if you haven't heard of them or seen this on social media yet you've got to check these out and i'm telling you that's what's on my skin today and i'll show you the combo that i did to make this linger and last all day i'm smelling myself and it's just literally pouring out of me it's so good i've been seeing these body oils all over social media this was the packaging that it came in they're from brown sugarbabe.com i have been seeing them and seeing them and seeing them so i decided to get two of them so one of them's out the box and one of them's still in the box i haven't used this one yet but i've got to show you so this one's creme de la creme um i don't remember what this is a dupe for but they're body oils that are scented like perfumes and i love a good gourmand like i love vanilla scents so the creme de la creme smells so good i believe this one's a dupe for cali vanilla 28 yeah this one's so 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 good and it's moisturizing i'm telling you they're actually really good and this one right here is called cloud nine and it has its own fragrance i'm telling you this one's super unique i hope i'm not mixing them up because one of them i do know is a dupe for cali vanilla 28 and for me a body oil i always emphasize using a body cream or a body oil that goes along with your perfume or fragrance i'm telling you it really does help with the projection the longevity you've got to start doing it if you haven't yet so i'm wearing cloud nine today and i'm obsessed i'm like oh my gosh it's i know something's good when i'm like oh my gosh i don't want to use it off like i don't want to finish it it's so good and it's strong you guys oh my goodness i am obsessed with this i love to put oils right here put it on the places where you want to be kissed okay so if you haven't check out brown sugar babe their oils are really good and i mean i've been seeing them all over social media and you know i'm not into the hype stuff but when i heard about the scents that they have i had to try them out for myself and they're so good that's it for today's video i'm gonna talk about these a little bit more in depth in my next video or in a few videos after this one leave a heart or a comment down below let me know that you're here i hope that you guys love this video and i will see you guys in the next one watch me on ig i'll probably post what i'm doing tonight on there because i have no idea what i'm doing yet but i hope to see you guys over on instagram and my instagram is ash220 underscore and my tiktok is livingash20 thank you guys so much for watching i love you i love you and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys